Alrighty, um, hello everyone, thank you for waiting so patiently. Uh, but here we are with a steward stream. Um, all we have today is we only have AF1. Uh, for some reason, none of you guys made any reports for AF3, which is wonderful. Thank you so much for giving us an easy Monday. It's a very wholesome weekend in AF, I think. In many ways, a very whole, a pretty wholesome weekend. I think the race on, on the whole, on the whole, on the whole. I mean, yeah. AF three generally. I think, I think the impression I get, you know, there was a, there were incidents for sure, but people just. I got punched hard by Pinguit Schwedenkreutz, but I'm like, I, I, he hit me and was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's just, it's a wholesome week. There you go. All right, but um, let's get it out all out the way then. Oh dear. Okay, the, the first report might be a long one, I guess. This is um. All right. So it's... actually, you you uh, read them out, redacted. It's your roll. My bad. Uh, first report's gonna be two oh five, and it's Mattia breaks too late on Charles Bertrand. Okay. I thought there was one before that, but never mind. There is, but I've got them in chronological order. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is the first report <laughs> in the race. Ah, okay. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. So it's uh, Mattia. Mattia breaks too late and hits Charles. Okay, so this is the start. Shay's turned down my game. Uh, oh. Do full screen. Yeah, yeah, I should probably do that. <laughs> there you go, guys. Um, and thank you, sick Psych Zero Zero, for following as well. Anyways, uh, this report. Pretty clear cut, if you guys Poor can Charles. see it. Poor Shell, P2 to P19 challenge. <laughs> Why is that poor Shell? He completed the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's an achievement you do not want to unlock. Oh dear. Well, um, yeah, late breaking and uh, no, quite a simple yeah. one. That's yeah. uh, five. Oh, that could have been such a battle. Throughout the race, could have been. I mean, Matia did get back up. I think I think he got back up to fourth, but then got DNF. And then and internet. mosquito cursed him. <laughs> he was on a roll that race, just killing everyone. Oh man! But um, yeah, five seconds doubled to ten for Matia. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Yep, uh, I agree. Any objections? No objections. I think two oh eight. <laughs> 208s and within the same corner. Pro DZ crash with Juan. Pro DZ is the one reporting. Crash with hmm. Juan. Oh. oh! Oh, hello. Um, okay, it's a curious one. So, hold on. I need to. Let's go for Juan's POV. Because I'm assuming Juan just hits him. Oh, look. Another Ferrari. That looks really weird. Can we run that back? I would say racing incident. Racing incident? I mean... Brody's he had to back off because he just hit Trader Joe. It's sort of like a concertina I, thing. I, I feel like it stutters right before Juan hits him, too. Like, it Juan, looks really Juan also weird. did make an effort to stop. And DZ backed off. Zing off. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the reaction times are... almost impossible. I guess. They're doable, but they're pretty damn difficult, and they're not... I mean, Juan did react as soon as he could, so stop it. Well, yeah, it's hardly avoidable contact. That's like a, that's a matter of split seconds, you know? like... Yeah. Frames. And then it, the gap then is gone within a split second. And Juan's easing off, and futilely trying to break, and... No, Something no. like 20 frames between Pro DZ hitting Trainer Joe and... Juan hitting Pro DZ. Yeah, because it's like, the the closing speeds of these cars are insane. Like they're going almost three hundred kph going into. I'm actually surprised there wasn't more chaos at this track. I thought it'd be awful, but was two, surprisingly clean. Two isolated incidents, not bad. So I mean, what do you think, Redacted? I think I'm. I'm, I'm I, I think you guys are spot on. There's no way he could have avoided that at the the speeds they're going and the the time you had to react. I mean, you're talking about less than a second. Yep. Sorry, ProDZ, that's... I, I can't really fault Juan, though, on that one. 
Roman Nesh, unsafe rejoin in front Bat of shiny waffles. There, there, ah, yeah. I think we found Love in the skin. <laughs> Love in the skin. Oh, it's perfect, yeah. Classic Williams BMW skin. Looks so good. Um so here he is. You're gonna see Shiny coming around. I have seen this. Da, 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 da. Mm, that's whoa! That's Jesus Christ! Those wheels it, wobbled, bro. Could, could he have done much from that? If we look left, okay, oh no, that, and then mind, then mind. Yeah, yeah, that is where well, he starts. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that's the resolution um, playing tricks on me there. Yeah, yeah, definitely shouldn't have gone that. You can hear a car coming, and also like, I, also one thing I want to say is this this app. It's not a default map display is super helpful for stuff like rejoining because it can show you cars coming from a mile off uh, yeah, Beyond the normal track uh, map, but yeah Yeah, but that, that is a bad region like you can hear him You can hear him already from about here And I think what his thinking is at this point. Oh, there's a guy coming. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get out of his way quickly Be quick. So he speeds up But ends up causing massive demise Yeah Just What's picking that? the wrong moment <laughs> So I have to I have to say plus five for that rejoin. Do you guys agree or? Yeah. Only five. Yes, yeah, enough. Uh, yeah. It's like preferences in the track. With Good morning, Vietnam. I'm back. Hello. Yes, hello, mosquito. You got to put some effort into that. Come on, you can't just go. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah. We gotta go. I was yes. making something special. Get in Vietnam! There you go. <laughs> jo Josh, Josh, I oh, lost my voice yesterday. <laughs> and I saved it just for that. That's probably the best one I've ever done. Oh, oh okay. I love doing that. Okay. Okay. That, that's, in this situation. Someone's gonna clip that now. <laughs> I just gonna. I just gonna put it in the, my... the trailer which I was making. Okay, good. I had the good mic. I have the mic that isn't going to blow your head off because it's right next to my mouth. But, uh, Anywho. And, uh, I think in this situation, I know this car's got a bad turning circle, but making a few turns around about here would have been a slightly better option than doing this when there's when you can hear a car coming. I turned off TC and do 180. Ah, okay. You, you turned off TC, so you would have... If you yeah, I actually, I, will, I, I always like turn it off on safety cars because it can... Uh, get the wheels spinning as well. That's true, yeah. But with this, yeah. But it seems here, yeah, it wasn't able to get the wheels. Oh, we race this one. And then, one in my thing, opinion, this is a ten to be honest. Ten seconds. Because it was like perpendicular and uh, it was a straight. It was clear that there was a car. You know, I'm not saying he was intended to like hit or anything, of course, but uh, you know, it's too clear and too like. Weird, you know. It, to me, it's the standard rejoin. It's the standard bad rejoin, rather. Like a, ba a bad rejoin that would be worth ten seconds would be the sort of rejoin I made at Tianma, for example. The one that, that cuts across many cars very blatantly. Yeah, but I think that's uh, you're looking at probably also. in close range with these sorts of cars. You, you know, like the, look, look, look. it is far enough off for you to think, okay, maybe I can make it. When he Rather started, than, I absolutely back on can't track. and don't care. Look, start to coming back on the cars all the way over there. Like, if 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 say it was the first lap thing and he comes back on into a field of cars, yeah, that's a bit different. But yeah, this is standard to me for me. I want to say that's just a five, yeah. For me, it's five. Uh, okay. It's normal region. And you redacted? Do you think it's a five? No, I think it's five. Okay, I see. I kind of see where you're coming from, Joao, but I think with these cars and the kind of how fast the, the speeds are, it's. Yeah. My internet is just going crazy. Wonderful. But yeah, so moving on. 12.45. Um, Pro DZ is going to have a crash with Miguel Costa. Uh -huh. uh -uh. Oh, good shit. So Pro DZ and Costa. So we've got Pro DZ. It's Miguel on the right. All right, let's give this a watch. These guys fasting like anything. I think the safe car restart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, gotta gotta, gotta take... get this from Costa's POV. Yeah. Alright, that was the try to increase the FOV. 
He wasn't breaking. That's, uh, that, that's avoidable. That's unavoidable contact for me. Unavoidable, no. But, you, you but he wasn't breaking even. It's too wide. Why, you know, you don't, why would you break for this corner? But Prodi's he's slowing in front of him. He's yeah, and, and yeah, he, he's got the outside line. He's already off. He's off line. With no, he can't move that way. I mean, Costa can't really go man, anywhere. Without making a very sudden move yeah. to the right. Big, maybe. Like, Again, margins are far too small. And Prodi's he starts slowing down. That, yeah, maybe that, yes. That, that maybe close, yes. That yeah, close. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's such a small time to react. And you That's very good. It, it is still within a second. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. And the Prodi's he's being what? 10 kph and these in the corners are. Big old difference. Now, let's, let's see this from his POV. Might, that might help a bit as well. Yeah. That This is usually my driving angle at least. Yeah, it slow, he slows down like immediately. Like he wouldn't know that it's gonna happen, in my opinion. I don't know. There's not, there's not enough time to react. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Unless you slam I, on the brakes. Uh, you would have, even if he slammed on the brakes, he would have still probably slid into. Yeah, yeah, this really yeah. yeah. That could have been more dangerous to slam on the brakes. The brakes are not more the, dangerous as good as. You. Yeah. you hit someone, you hit someone. But then, does it not switch to pro easy for dangerous driving, or do you think it's just? No, not at all. There's nothing dangerous about what he did. He was going for a move around the outside. It didn't work, so he backed off. Mm, yeah. No, there's, there's nothing dangerous about that. So there's another racing incident. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I could see Miguel's that, trying. That's my view. Miguel's trying to ease off as well. Like this, this corner you can basically take flat, by the way, uh, with these cars. Yeah. yeah. For, for for context here. Because so, when you're at the back five car battle, you want to, you he, can't get. And, and he was easing off, so yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and the traffic jam rules. Another racing incident there. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Red there is twenty-eight fifteen. Ah, yes. Oh, you know there's something else. Um, Sleepy is reporting Jack Olivier. And now for the main fight. Jack slams into me main whilst event. he is turning under braking. <sighs> Let's get ready to rumble! This is the main event here. Oh, God. The big talking point from the event from the race yesterday. Yes. There you go. The accusation from Jack Olivier is Sleepy moved under braking. This was communicated immediately on voice chat. There is a movement, yeah. I mean, you're on with Jack. I don't know. Can we go on with Sleepy to see if he moves while braking? Sleepy's on board will show no movement of the steering wheel. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wrong! He's following the... Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's, it... that's a lane change. So th this corner, like, it curves to the left a fair bit. So, if you're going straight here, you're going right out into the middle of the track. Yeah. Well, the braking points are very similar, though. So, so Sleepy's on the brakes. Let me try to catch it. There's no way the braking points could be similar, otherwise the closing speed would not have been that huge. Right, there would have been... About here he's on full brakes, and where where on earth does Jack get on full brakes? I just want to just want to check for clarity. He's already on full brakes. Seemingly. Or well, he's already on some form of brakes. We don't know how. Ah, obviously. About here he gets on full brakes a bit later, but I can see it from his POV. Like, so at this point here, Sleepy on for him moves over to the left because he's yeah he, that that's he's sort of drifting towards the left edge of the track. So at this point. The, the expected thing that a driver would do, the normal thing, is to stick, follow the track, and that's where you break. In this corner, you follow the track and break. You can't just swash across the racing line. So at this point, he thinks, okay, he's going to go to the inside. That should be fine. But then, lo and behold, and that gap's closed, and Jack thinks like that that gap to the right of Sleepy is going to close because Sleepy has just moved a whole car's length across the track. So... And in that split second, he tries to react and collides with him. 
So uh, this is I, I read. I don't think this is Jack's fault at all. Really, it's 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 the complete unexpected thing happening. Like he, there's nothing he could have really done to like avoid that. Like it's racing incident, I think. I mean, like Sleepy was was just moving. He, he was moving. Was, was, in my mind, the braking was erratic. Sleepy's line was straight. He committed to the same trajectory into braking. That's fine. Jack's move was. I mean, can we reverse back to just as he just as he starts breaking, please? Okay. Uh, and when who starts breaking? So uh, a couple a couple frames forward. A couple frames. Right forward. when Jack gets on, starts to get on the brakes. Okay, he gets on the brakes quite late. Because he's gonna he's gonna move to the left in a minute. Um, and now. Stop it right there. Where's the right way to go here? Left or right? Straight. Right. Right. To, yeah, the, right. to, the, to the left or to the right of Sleepy, that is. Yes. To the right. right. To the right. 100%. Right. So like, why did Jack go to the left? There's way more There's way more room on the right as well, and there always was. Mm -hmm. So even here... And why, did Jack, why did Jack suddenly switch to, to the left? Yeah. Because Sleepy was always on the left side of the track, but then... And even here, there's, there's still yeah. more room on the right. So why did Jack swerve to the left? Under braking. That that's fine because it's not defensive. The moving under braking isn't fine because it's not defensive. I think this is very opportunistic. This could have been a, an absolutely godly move, but it's risk. It's like it's risky. He would have had to a perfect. I think we, what I imagine the thought process was was to perfectly slot into the left, but that's. That doesn't feel... claims he wasn't trying to make a move. But it was breaking. Sleepy himself was saying as well that he would... I mean, you said as well, Josh, that you'd expect someone them to make a move. Yeah, well, you're that close. Why wouldn't you? And again, yeah. there's more room on the right than there is on the left. That's quite clear when the breaking event starts. So why change the left? And also, like, sleepy, it's Sleepy's corner as well. Like, Jack is coming from an absolute mile back. Like, Sleepy's Sleepy is strong, to be fair. Sleepy is very strong. And that was made through the racing great. Yeah. You are right. Hmm. It's, if for me, it's either racing incident or it's Jack's fault. Like, there, there was there was always enough room. Like, there was... Like, Chronic can see, you know, my opinion is that basically if you're like behind somebody, uh, you're responsible for not crashing uh, into them on the braking, and there's not really like moving on the braking, it was just following the usual uh, layout and like cornering and stuff. Uh, then Jack was kind of optimistic, uh, maybe he was trying to like close up a little, or maybe even do a, make a move, but then it's didn't pay out and he overcooked it. Yeah, that's not so like, another... you know, you, if you are behind somebody, you need to make sure you're good enough not to hit him. Yeah, I think now, now that I'm looking at it, if you look at it slowly, like the, the whole time, there's, there's, no, there's like Jack can't even see the left side of the track. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, and now he's going to the left, like. It's it's, a, it's the only one making an actual sudden move here is 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 Jack. Because even if Sleepy was going to the right, Jack would still be able to have enough space. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, when you just showed like on board, it's like showing the the unnecessary move from Jack. Because when you just show it, like you know, like from Sleepy, and he's going to the middle of the track, it seems like okay, Jack is avoiding that. But that wasn't the case. If you just played like very very slowly, it was very, you know, sudden change. And also, it's not feasible for like uh, Sleepy to like stay uh, ridiculously left yeah. on the track because he wouldn't make the corner. No? He can he can't like be really close to the white line on the left because he has to make a corner right so. Jack, jack's like n yeah. nowhere near to like making a move like there's not even a question of it being alongside like sleepy's just trying to do the corner like he's leaving room on both sides of the track even if anything jack had a lot of options 
but the outside is the is where there's more it, space. Yeah, like the it's whole more time, likely move. The whole time there is always more move, more room on the right. And I actually want to look. I want to look on Sleepy's car as well. Like how the gap between his car and and like. Are you want to compare it to the the track? Yeah. So at this point, he sort of he's he's basically if you look at the actual gap between him and the track. It's only getting a little bigger. Like at this point, he's in the middle, but his steering input's completely straight. But Jax is Jax is the only one that's taking a drastic change. And you can take the the curb as well. It's on the outside. Yeah, especially when you look at it from this angle, and and you think, you know, if that's an overtaking attempt, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, what are, are, are people sort of coming to conclusions, or do we need more? to discuss i guess i think we're ready for a vote yeah i think so shall we start we'll go in reverse order let's start with joel um if he gets five to uh, I don't know, maybe five to jack did you say yeah five to jack. yeah okay redacted uh i have no comment on this oh that surprises me <laughs> Um, okay, I'm intrigued, but oh no, oh no, no, I'm. Mean, you always have a comment about everything, so okay. Uh, um, this is a hard one. Abstention, mosquito. This is a hard one. Mm. I think still five for Jack after like we analyzed it from the whole st you know perspective. Okay. And you, Josh. Um, five for Jack. Yeah. I want to say five. I mean, yesterday I was in the mind that it, uh, I, the way I, I looked at it earlier, I was in the mind that it was sleepy. But now that I've kind of looked more from like Jack's POV and just at the incident more in depth, yeah, I have to say that's a five seconds. This wasn't an, you know, this wasn't like an explicit blocking maneuver. Yeah. If you look in the mirrors as well, if I'm sleepy's POV. I mean, a better time of day would be great to see this, but... Uh, I, I can, oh, oh. oh, I can just... Thank you very much. I just do it to look pretty. Oh, oh you can do that. Better. Shoot! Like, if, if they were alongside and Sleepy was sh shutting the door on Jack, that would be a different matter entirely. But Jack's yeah, but... about, uh, until about this point, he's like four cars behind. If Sleepy had moved left in this incident, this would suddenly be exactly the same as like a Verstappen with a car to Baku. Uh, I think. Because the guy behind with, um, in that move, I can't remember which one it was, the guy behind in that move moved left. Ricardo was behind. behind. And if anything, you can't really even call it really a move under braking because he's not actually even braking yet. He's here, he's in the middle of the track, and now he's braking. You know, and then he brakes in virtually a straight line. That's not a lane change after after he's braking, and then before he's even able to get any closer to anywhere, he's dead. So yeah, are we all settled on that? I guess. Seems pretty I mean, it's, un unanimous. It's actually. Unanimous, with the exception of Redacted, who decided not to vote. Any reasoning for your lack of vote redacted, or would you want to not say? I think abstention needs to be left at that, to be honest. True, true. I don't think a reason needs to be given for abstention. True, indeed. Alrighty. Um, Moving on. Moving on to... That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, nice. That's, that's about it. Um, so we're all done for uh, AF well, reports as a whole for today. Yeah. Um, so I guess that just leaves best clip, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've just seen. Yeah. I someone... knew someone would. <laughs> what? What put a best clip in? The last one, Danny. Good morning, shit. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever race at Hanoi, oh, yes. God help me. Oh dear. Uh... Do we have a Hanoi? I think there is a Hanoi mod. It's just bad. bad. Yes, yeah. right. it might be. I've I have no idea. I've not tried any any Hanoi mod. But let's see what we got. 
Let's get the clips. All right. So I, I'll actually, I'll do, I'll do the 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 way that Mosquito recommended to me, where I. Open oh the yes, yes. In the browser. Sorry, I'll I'll sort that out on the screen share. Um, let's change my browser window. Now, now we're just gonna brag about me bragging about knowing the way how to. Do ah, you use Blackboard. That's cool. Yeah, we do. Yeah. All right. I'll do the. Oh, Good evening, Miles. Good evening. Hello, Miles. You have joined us in time for our watch, watch the stream and you'll watch me get killed in AF3. <laughs> I am going to enjoy this. All right, so <laughs> Newt Newt is, is the title. Oh, yes, I saw this. Yep, that's me. <laughs> You're probably wondering how uh, I ended up in this situation. Tactical rear magic. <laughs> this was like this was like the way that overtake uh no, not overtakes no that crashes happen this season people just losing the rare with, the, with these cars Sugo yeah. defines them Sugo oh god yeah Sugo was was the was the epitome of that I did that at least a couple of times I mean who didn't this season if you didn't if you didn't lock up the rares at least once this season you didn't race properly um I hope to fight more with you Ben next season this one. If it would play. Oh yeah, that that was cool. I saw that. Oh, that's good. I think I saw I saw bits of this. Yeah, I actually watched back on the on the replay, and this looked like a really good battle on the grass. Jesus. Google, you have balls of steel. Oh man. Also Ben, <laughs> very like close. Side by side throughout this whole bit. Oh, this is awesome. I hope you got this on stream, man. So, Matty, I managed I to watch this like the, three times. The stream, so. Oh, cool, cool. So it's working, yeah. I'm just so, gonna publish I'll, it soon. I'll just send thumbnails to you from now on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Until we're gonna say, <laughs> fix it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think it's on our end. Side by side still. Epic. I want to say Vigolf's holds it around the outside. Yes, he does, and he makes the move on the grass again. And on him, he's death. Oh, that is so close to And death. survives. Wow. See, that's the thing. This combo, you could just push these cars so hard. There, there was, there was a, it's like epic in these cars. Exactly. There was a fine limit, but... Oh, this is, this is Lipsy. Oh, this is beautiful. Going out yeah. with... Oh, what a good season. Lipsy just killing it on his home track. Yeah. All right. Next one. Professional pet entry. I've seen this. It's beautiful. What did you guys think about Kevin Harvick in NASCAR last night? Uh. Nobody watches NASCAR. I think. And Maddie saw Maddie saw the clip because he asked for it. The number four driver. Yeah, that was dumb. That was stupid. If I was, if I was, what is it, the number forty-one? Number, I think? number nine, nine. Number nine. Yeah, I would have. Chase Elliott. I don't want to fucking kill him. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't. He didn't actually get, get to because Kevin Harvick took himself out. Uh, all right, next one. Let's think from AF4. Oh, wow, what a uh, Oran Park. That's the whole. That's. What the was whole. that again? Said so, again. Wait, let me let me turn the volume up. Oh, yeah, 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 but it's just... And Papa Cappy did it. She <laughs> <laughs> did it. So we're just Let's going go, home. baby. Papa Cappy did it. That needs to be made a gif. Just that car just shooting yes, up in the Yes, yes, yes. It's like... And Papa Cappy did it. Yes. He did it. Let's he fucking did it. go. Yeah. He did it. Josh, if you ever wanted a uh, an explanation of how lax the rules are in NASCAR... Kevin Harvick was on the team radio saying how he could crash somebody out with his crew chief, like having a conversation about it, and then later crashes him out intentionally and was not punished for it. I, I Jesus thought, Christ. I thought, I thought Harvick crashed on his own. He, he crashed on his own, but Kevin Harvick was on his team radio talking about how he could spin Chase Elliott and get him out of the race. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, that part I didn't hear. I only heard the part that was afterwards where Chase Elliott was talking about removing Harvick. But anyways, next video. What's this one called? Be oh, better view four wide from Juan. It's still a safe to go restart, I think. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. This is this is the good view because yeah, suddenly, this suddenly, there's just four cars. No, next lap, next lap. Next lap. And he had our VC on in the background. Great. <laughs> I would have personally recorded that at a time when I'm not we've got a VC in the background, but there you go. That was as race control, and I saw that I was tempted to just go. It's far wide, and but, but no, it's like. Maybe not at a day to go restart. I was gonna, oh, yes, perfection. I was, I was gonna ask why you didn't do that. I was very disappointed to not hear you screaming for wide. <sighs> I had to sort of just take it. I, I, yeah, I couldn't uh, risk that. Could have at least could have delayed it though. <sighs> Anyways, if it kept going, maybe we have oh, still this. plenty laps to go. Sixteen laps to go, and we are with Trader Joe, the man of the day. I would call him. He is doing. Very good job right now. No, 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 he's spinning. Oh Joe is spinning. So Miguel Soto is P3. Oh, no, it's just right. curse. That is. Again. I love the reaction. Like, ah! no. And then I am like, why am why I doing this? Why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? <laughs> he's doing a good job. Just, just completely love lost. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I was feeling so bad about it. <laughs> so bad. I know it's. I, I don't get it. It has to. It, this this makes me believe in like ghosts and shit, man. Like. <laughs> A very slow mo clip here. Somebody was like teleporting. Here, I think Thomas Cameron. Yeah, moving around a lot. And a nice around the outside move from him. Uh, and the final clip. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> something special. Good morning, Vietnam! There you go. <laughs> George, <laughs> something special. It got clipped. It got clipped. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to make some beams with it now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, please. Now we need, uh... we need the memes. Um... <laughs> We have some announcements, right? We have and I have some trailer. It's uploaded on YouTube, Matty, so you can show it. And if we out on Saturday. We might get punked a little bit, but since we played some clips of Lipsy, it is also probably going to bonk us, so you know. We will be fine. Uh, what's what's yes. it called? Or is it on the AF channel? Uh, it's not on the AF channel, but it's uh, hidden. Uh, should I publish it? I publish it right now. Unhide, Give me more. please. Oh, un, un hide. Uh, uno momento, por favor. I'm just saving some changes, adding thumbnails. Uh, thumb, click. Th Great timing. Thumb yeah, this is. Are, are we all just going to ignore that? Yeah. Okay. Ignore what? Thumbnails. Yeah, I, I, I pointed it out. Yeah. Uh, didn't ignore it. We didn't ignore it. Hey, okay. it is. Uh, I'm just gonna change the the, the, the picture later. But... Refresh. Hey, all right, ladies and gentlemen. AF4... It's a premiere. It's a legend premiere. AF4 season ten, the trailer. This is. I mean, if you guys didn't catch it on the AF4... giving it away with the with the with the preview there, but okay. If you guys didn't catch it on the stream, AF4, um, we're back with the Tatus. Um. Hey, nice. boy's back. It never actually left. J Jake in chat, like, how do I get roll down, Grace? <laughs> you don't. We're back with this legend. Oh, Lord. So he put a Renault skin on it. <laughs> Williams Renault. <laughs> One of the only good skin packs for it. This looks like Fortnite font. VSC is deployed. VSC is deployed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, wasn't this the car from the Bahrain season? Yeah. Yeah. Well, why does it say a barf on it? It's in a bar. <laughs> Is it really? I thought it was like a bar or something. That's a slash above. I don't know. It's 3-1! It's not for long. <laughs> Till it's not! <laughs> Three goes into one how many times? What are the other drivers' so tracks? 
<laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> oh, oh no. Auto sports awesome. Awesome move, mate. Awesome move. Scooto drove all of these crashes himself. <laughs> Caused all of them without yes, really trying. With my skillful. Plus five. Pure skill from Mosquito. Ah, uh, yeah, we've been caught. Another. Strike. I am sorry. Uh, I, I just okay. had to do that. I just had to do that. It, it but, is so perfect for. I right, gotta say, that was yeah, really good. Yeah. Let's get, give Mosquito a hand because that was on a pretty goddamn decent trailer, and oh, yeah. I imagine the season itself will hopefully be at least a, about that bit uh, more exclusive. For people asking about the drivers' vote, we have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this... oh, I picked some great ones for you this time. Oh uh, God! Before we, uh, before I show these, don't be annoyed. Um... <laughs> What do you mean? When you see them, they won't, they won't think that... Oh, no, no, you will. All right, there you go, guys. So, our driver's votes are Imola Jesus Reverse, Christ. Silverstone 1967 Reverse, and Laguna Seca Reverse. Fucking enjoy. I know what I'm voting for. I, I know what I would vote for. I would vote Silverstone. for Laguna Seca. It's Laguna Seca reverse every time. I would go to Laguna, man. Going up the corkscrew is <laughs> yeah. super fun. We will, we will have a, uh, an emergency truck on standby to push anyone up the corkscrew that needs it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, my, my, my vote would go for Silverstone because that's just a slipstream fest. What, what, can, we just more air from that, but... can we just ask Morgan? Morgan has an experience in pushing some cars or safety cars. Oh so. my god, yeah. We're not. Bring back Morgan Bramley. Yeah, bring him back. Uh, yeah, I want yeah. that redemption arc. I want yes. that redemption arc. Oh, yes, yes, perfectly. Win and winning the races, straight so on. Someone get him back, because he needs a second chance. Um, but there you go, guys. F4 Season 10. Um, yeah. With the goddamn Tatsis. It's been long enough, and yeah, it should be awesome. So anyone who is great driver or below, please do consider signing up. Uh, sign ups. I bl believe Josh will be opening when? What are you looking at me for? I've got no idea. Uh, well, sign up. I'm still really open for it. You just click on the role in the join AF4 today and you can join AF4 today. Well, there you go. There's that. There you, go. You, you click on the role there and you get access to all the chats which all, with all the downloads, which we should be sorting soon. Hint, 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 yeah. hint. Um, and then, yeah. Yeah, so basically do the role if you've already got it good for you uh just wait for all the information to come out and good, in... <laughs> good for you. yeah and if you haven't joined af what are you doing what are you doing join us it's great yes i have another bonus reason to join af but finish talking about af4 uh i think that's about it i'm trying to think yep. of anything else a reminder as well we have our exhibition race for this as well right that's still a thing yeah, yep. that's still a thing. That is yeah. absolutely still a thing. Yeah, there you go. So when, anyone, when anyone... people want to join it. So for all you speedy boys, uh, you can still take part in a non-championship way, as you have been able to for the past few seasons. But I believe I think this one will get a lot of a lot of people joining. I think this might revive a, at least the uh, exhibition race. And no, Charles, you can't have Air Four roll. Sorry. You can have the A4 exhibition role. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> By all means, take that. That's great. Yes, join it. <laughs> and um, so, yes, Miles, what was it you had to say? Um, I have just personally restarted with Shiny the um, uh, Dirt Rally um, combo um, that will now be happening weekly. And to because I couldn't think of anything better immediately, and uh, Shiny and I will coordinator uh, some more well thought out combos we're doing group b uh, let's go um oh, so yeah. yes the audi sport quattro um and the ascenso por vale iguale uh, in mm -hmm. in the spent rally which is a full tarmac stage and is incredibly fun hell yeah that's that's dirt and really attempt to... for the italian pronunciation there that was good yeah i was yeah. gonna say dirt rally 2.0 right yeah 2.0 I might pick that up just because stuff's being organized for it. So who knows? Absolutely. But everyone who, everyone who does have it, join that stuff. It's great to see stuff expanding into other games. 
Yeah, so, yeah. Johnny, Johnny's done a stunning job with the uh, with the weekly hot laps as well. Yeah, yeah, I must yeah. say actually, yeah. By all means, absolutely got to do those as well. Good little bit of thing to do when you're bored. Um, one for one this week. I think this week is radical at um, radical at Bathurst. Yeah. Oh, I haven't done that yet, and I need to. So, yeah, be sure to try that one out, guys. That's a solid, solid one. Um. Denny, you're asking... It's been going for nearly a year, that, actually. It's been going for nearly a year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, has, hasn't it? Um, end, of, not, end of November. Yeah. Well, I do believe... Uh, is that it? I mean, as as far as uh, any more announcements go, we've got AF2 at the weekend uh, on Saturday uh, for some time in the evening. Uh, let me check when the race starts. Should be... Oh, yeah, we have our sprint qualifying and our race. Yes. Sprint qualifying will be at uh, 6 p.m. UTC. We'll have 10 minutes sprint qualifying for each class. Then a two hour race at Spa Francorchamps. So if there might not... be a stream. There, there may be a stream if Mosquito feels streamy. There is a stream, let me know because I need to configure a lot of the stuff for the sprint qualifying for streaming. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, but that was really successful last week. I, I last time I think at Silverstone the sprint qualifying as it well. Was, it there was, was really good racing. It was actually not too bad. I actually really liked the whole the, the way it worked out. So the was hypercar to... was hypercar race was chaos. Yes, I didn't so many would, so many people just pulling back through the field and then spinning out. I got hit. I got uh, crashed into. I crashed into a bollard that he took me out of road. third. Yep. Went to the back, pulled back through to about fourth, and then I can't remember who it was, but someone, I think it was Trainer Joe had uh, a huge internet moment and sort of pinged back into me and that was the end of my race there. It was really chaotic. I, I got sent to the back but then made it up to about fourth, I think, because my wheel okay. was locked on the yeah. start. R- rip it my voice. Crazy. I just gonna I just gonna lose the voice if the sprint qual- qualifying gonna happen. Yeah, so. that's a long race. I would I would recommend um a lot of water. Lubricating your throat before then. Ooh, water. Water. Oh, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> get, some, get, some du- yeah. get some WD-40 in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. And some food, I got some, I got some. I got some, Because it's a long old race, so actually having something to eat while you're there might actually be prudent, so... I, I need to do some running because I was... When I was just, like, talking and screaming a lot, I was losing the... Like, I, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't oh, breathe, you know, like man. I had a problem, yeah. Tut, tut. Gotta get that lung past you. I've started swimming training again. I'm gonna be streaming like hell when I get when the next AF4 or AFX streams. AF3 next season. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. I'll be streaming every race, I think. AFX? So, no, AF3. AF3. Next AF3. Season. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I will, be, I, will, I will be on that shit. So. Um, AF3 is gonna be so good. There's still a few spots left, I believe, actually, if you wanna join that as well. How about before we sign off i'll show the calendar for next season just to remind people um, oh, great. Great. Of AF3, just to let people know so we have andersdorp a cool track that i think is on a runway with a lot of banked corners it has a dick on it, it so that's great uh, i've got poznan which is polish representation let's go uh a good track <laughs> that we raced back with the two series in af4 um, Nola, which I've heard was amazing in the TT Cup. Uh, Some of the best racing in the T- we had in the TT Cup that season. Yep. Zolder, which is, a, I've te- even with AI and even just hot lapping, awesome track with these cars. Yep. Uh, driver's Vote, including Dijon, which is a decent track. I don't know much about it. Oscherschleben, a classic. And Lausitz Ring, which is also awesome. Silver Coin, a, a Josh track that actually was very, very good. Uh, very short, <laughs> very intense. Uh, Tocantipa, Colombia, um, and Birmingham Super Prix. Uh, n- no, no, n- don't really know about that one, but it looks pretty interesting. <laughs> it, it is, one, it of is being made by circuits. one of the fastest street circuits you will ever drive. It is so, so much fun. It's my favorite track of all time. And it is, is it being actually made by Mick Shaw. Shout Road. out to him. Mostly. But, like, how old is it? Is it like modern Birmingham Roads or like old Birmingham Roads? Uh, it'll be old Birmingham roads. Yeah, the late eighties. Birmingham roads, complete with the potholes. Yes. It's a port of uh, R Factor, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's made by Mixtrol again. Shout out to him. Shout out to Mixtrol for that. Converted by Mixtrol is amazing. I love driving it. Um, and I think there's a link in mods app somewhere. 
And in answer to Denny, yes, we are getting Reddit advertisement for AO4. I'm going to post that after the stream. So thank you for reminding me. Um, We're going to do that, yeah. Any other... AO4 rise again. Yes, AO4 will rise again. Um, and besides that, any any other comments from you guys? Or we, we should do a weekly at Birmingham Super Prix. <laughs> Well, you could do that just to prepare people, probably, yeah. Yeah, because I think with, yeah, testing for that would be great beforehand, just to see what if there were any issues, and also if we need to change anything about the mod. Yeah, that's a good point. So, <laughs> weekly, uh, are the weekly's planned this week? No? Okay. Birmingham Super Prix for the weekly this week. Calling it now. Please, 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 please. please. Okay. Rudy's going to shoot you. <laughs> since you've been, admin has okay. spoken. Since you've been I mean, so prudent as to say on stream in front of everyone, I have simply no choice. Williams FW16. Uh, uh, 18. Uh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Maybe. I mean, the <laughs> testing of the track would, would be would be fun. We all know if it's Ooh. okay or if it needs some fixing. So, you know, the we're more we're going to test it. Yeah. Well, it. Maybe we do it like, with the. Oh there's the UI. Josh is gone, yeah. URD release the M4 GT3, the new one. So but that's a paid mod. But I would want to see that in AF at some t at some point. Uh, have people seen it actually? Because I don't, I don't think it was actually talked about much. But URD, uh, let's see where is it's it. Quietly released, isn't it? It was very quietly released. United. This is just a podcast at this point. It really is we, a podcast. We can really use the uh, for the Birmingham. <laughs> Stuart stream yeah. itself is over. It's just like a podcast chat. We, we should use the, the VRT FW19. I mean, we can do some AF podcasts in the future. Yeah, there you go. It, That's the one like... I mean with that. The, the one we used way long ago for Adelaide. Oh, almost a year ago. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was in November. It was in October last oh, year. Oh, that was such a good. Was that, that was such a good week thing. There I'm you driving, go. I'm Gotta drive it. Why would you want a boat? This thing is a very nice, very good looking boat. And if anybody Actually, wanted a preview what? of what the GT car is going to be for AF3 next season. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, what? If you give me two minutes, I'll stream the Birmingham Super in the FW19. Oh, okay. Well, that's a treat for everyone. Well, you, you want to stream it? Quite disingenuous. Yeah, I'll stream it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. There you go. If, if you, the ten of you that have stuck around this long, you're in for a treat. Uh, yeah. Oh, FD, Williams have to be nineteen. All right. I'll stop streaming my desktop. Hello. Hello. <laughs> next LMP. What? I wonder what would with the next LMP be. I don't know. Maybe the Rebellion R13 high down. <laughs> we've been talking about for two seasons. I know, right? It's been pushed back and back. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone that isn't Sim Dream will release uh, another hypercar mod. But they seem to have it locked down. They've they've already made this this the the Glicken House, which looks like shit, and the Glicken House. So no, no, no. It looks sure the car looks good. Uh, but they made they made it bad. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but it just looks really off, in my opinion. And they're also making the Persia. Oh, Josh is live. We don't need them for the for the Persia. We have uh, who is it? Mythic is driving a Persia this season. True. Well, here you go, ladies and gentlemen, Josh. Hey, there's a wall there. Josh sucking ass. That's a proper headline. It's <laughs> Oh this, is, oh, this looks like just like the Birmingham I know. It looks absolutely miserable. <laughs> you, mean, you mean like the rest of the UK? Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, oh boy, this this oh, this, this roundabout. This is it the roundabout. I think it is. Oh, the old Halfers logo. Oh. Oh, and it goes. But it looks awesome. It looks really good. Oh, I haven't even seen a full that. Oh, some tires might be a bit hotter. This could be a cool weekly, actually. Slipstream fest forever. Ooh, Matty, it will be an AF friend, so not only weekly. <laughs> true, true. Ooh. Here's an idea. Am I wrong? How oh, about, saved it. How about if we're really good with sorting out weeklies, each Monday at the end of the steward stream, we do a preview for the weeklies? <laughs> that could be really cool when we get someone to do like a hot lap of it. That would be actually pretty neat, Whoa. I feel. That would give an. Oh. That's weird. Okay. Wow. Well, what, a, what a very. Unique. That's the line. That is the line through that corner. That is the line. Yeah. You have to go up to the wall, 90 degree turn. And now for the hot lap. 
I don't remember Birmingham being in New York. <laughs> nice, interesting skyline there. Are you implying that there aren't tall buildings like this in Birmingham? Oh, not that many. <laughs> this part I love. Like this downhill part, and then the uphill on the way back. In the touring car, you could get a crap ton of overtaking here. That's the aim! Cause it's super wide as well, it's definitely possible. Because the thing is, those touring, touring cars usually, usually are pretty decent for getting in behind someone's toe. Because they're so big, they just block the air. It will be very nice for wide. Yeah, mm, yeah, you actually could get four wide on that other side. Yeah. Oh, that's line. That is so cool through there. See, this also, is right on the edge. Since yeah. we talk about tracks, uh, I've checked when I was making the trailer, uh, the Silverstone reversed. And we probably need to mess with the pit stops as it has the grid for from like 50, so three lines, uh, three, three cars in one line. Yeah, why not? That's cool. Okay, I have, I have four. okay, it is gonna be interesting if it's gonna be. And is there any kind of opportunity for a stream of the dirt rally combo? It's a short one, but. Oh. <laughs> and I, and I'm, I'll probably bin it, so it's not like it's gonna last that long anyway. Where the, hell am I? Where the hell am I? Oh, hello. <laughs> hmm. if, you really, if you really give up on the race, you can just send... Or if, or if you want to be, feel mischievous, you can just send someone into that corner. I was going to say, just just like when you know, you're know you yeeting somebody into the pit lane, just yeet them into there. Yeah. <laughs> You've been banished. So this is this, a, is this a fictional R-Factor track, or did this actually happen? This actually happened. Birmingham Super Free was a real thing from 1986 to 1990. Oh, wow. It, it, held, it held Formula 3000 and BTCC. Uh, BTCC, though? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is it FIA Grade 1? <laughs> <laughs> I think it it's, it's predates FIA Grades, to be honest. It's better than that. It's better than Grade 1. Uh, is Miles, are you going to stream it? Or... Well, there we go. There's a, there's a preview of uh, oh, I'm I'm just the setting. weekly I'm absolutely pushing for us to do this week. All right, well... That you've sort of, I mean, that's the thing with weeklies. If, if ideas are given to us, all the better. Oh, man. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. What's that? Shell. What does it say? Can't read that. AF me, Mobile Baku. You know what? I, oh, Shaul, you know, um, next we, the week after this week because it's AF two week. So we have, I know this week or last or well, technically last week we had two semi serious weeklies, but next week do be AF two. But next week we do AF Mimibil Baku. I think that's like the most requested weekly I think I've seen. <laughs> Courtesy of Shaul. It's been a very long time since you had the AF Mima Bill. We need to bring it back. It's so fun. It's so good. Mm. All right. Time. All right. You ready, Sorry. Miles? Finish the thing. I'm not going to do it in the uh, in the Audi because I want people to discover this beautiful thing for themselves. So I'm going to do it in a uh, more modern rally car. Gotcha. And I can't talk because if I do that, it changes my camera view. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I think because of the button, he has a. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, some dirt rally content. No audio, but there you go. No audio. I'll commentate. Left three. One fifty into left two. T Titans. Whatever that means. Titans. That's it. Right. right three don't cut yep. Titans <laughs> widens right five uh, widens dirty into right two into left three thirty then right left four oh right, my God. one don't the cut worst I'm not navigator cut. ever <laughs> Miles you're breaking the car into, you're breaking right the car <laughs> two left two don't cut now it widens then narrows Josh, you're literally, like five portion you're literally like that Top Gear episode where they did that two. vintage rally. <laughs> <laughs> right, Why six, don't you listen something. to me, Miles? 
Dev 2. You're breaking the car, Miles! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to my calls! One, two, That's actually right left two. Right. That's actually go left. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn right to go left. That might work in opposite land. Miles is probably cursing us right now. In 50 meters, turn left, then turn right. <laughs> At the end of the road. <laughs> oh, geez, it's not even an end of the road. This road doesn't end. This looks pretty neat, though, I must say. At the roundabout, take the second exit. I'm surprised Miles hasn't muted us yet. <laughs> it's committed. I used to play Dirt Rally 1. No, I played, Dirt, I played Dirt 4 a lot. I never played any of the Rally ones. Where possible, make U-turn. <laughs> Take a third hey, right. Hey, done it. He's just done a U-turn. It was a hair, or hair pin. Yeah, same thing. Take the third left the next roundabout. In 100 meters, turn oh, hold on. You He's turned turn right four times. Oh. One. You can't uh, turn, you only hold, on. One. hold on, you can't turn left one. out of a roundabout. You can only turn right out of roundabouts. Well, comes to the UK. <laughs> uh, you never been in Poland. People definitely can turn on roundabouts whenever they want to and wherever they want to. <laughs> <laughs> there will be anarchy. Is there anywhere else in Europe that has like multi-lane roundabouts? I swear, you, England is the only place. I've seen them in uh, Germany. It, Germany has multi-lane roundabouts. There is one. There is one in my city. Though. I never went to any. I've never, oh. I never seen any in Germany. Oh, breaking the car! I have to use a multi-lane roundabout to get to work every day. Oh. I mean, I think in the UK they're just bloody everywhere. I think someone got the genius out there and thought, okay, these we can. Well, I I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Uh, they have this thing in a city near me called a magic roundabout, and this oh, Lord. is this is six mini roundabouts all connected. Mm -hmm. It's a bi-directional roundabout. Shall what? I get the? Shall I get I, the uh, picture? I've, I've picture seen the ready. image of it, and it blows my I, mind I, that how somebody could come up with something that stupid. I I drove it. I don't think I. I, I don't. I don't think I've held my breath for that long in a while. Like it's, <laughs> it's terrifying. Denny, why did you say Swindon? <laughs> Swindon. It is Swindon. Oh no, but there's one near me in Luton, Josh. You think there's one in Luton? Yeah, look up the. Look Swindon's up, the famous one, but up, okay. Look up the um, Luton one. Luton Magic Roundabout. I mean, no one wants to go to Luton. Why would anyone no, go to Luton? No, no one wants to go there. I, only, uh, I could only no bear a couple heard, hours. No one's even heard of this place. I know, but me and Josh know it very well, and that is important. Also, good job, Miles. He's kept it on the track, but he's breaking the car, I have to say. Um, <laughs> that's Hemel Hempstead. Hemel Hempstead is weird. Yes. Um, I can't seem to find a picture of the one at uh, Luton. It's Hemel Hempstead, though. Is that the one you mean? Uh, that might be the one, yep. Yeah. I, I get confused. You know, there's so many shitholes here, you can get them mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> miles, miles, miles. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Scandy fell around and crash at the end. He broke the car. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You've got to hit the timing board. You have to hit the timing it's board. It's the timing yeah. board. There we go. you got to hit it. Nice one, Miles. Good stuff. You didn't actually oh, believe yeah. in it. No, I didn't. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, and that will that will be done what in a Group B car, so that'll be balls to the wall, crazy shit. Uh, I have we... done it. it. It's interesting. Mm. Here's Before we close out this podcast, any uh, any predictions for the U.S. Grand Prix? Um. Oh. Oh God. Oh Jesus! Look at Josh's stream. This is like. I guess four fifths of a swastika. Jo look up. Ah, that's the end of the podcast. Sh show them, and we've just been cancelled. Show them what the one there's the, demo is. There's well. the diagram. There's the diagram. What the fuck is this? I'm, I'm surprised. What it looks though. like. So you start off going around. Uh, was that clockwise? Clockwise round the roundabout. But you can get fa there faster if you go on the inside, which means you have to go anti-clockwise round the roundabout. And then take another mini roundabout. So if you want to go from, say, County Road to Queen's Drive, you can go all the way around the outside of it, or you can just cut across and do go the other way around. Literally just cut across. Yeah, pretty so much. Basically, so, so if you were to draw that out, you can go along the top, or at the first exit, you, you swoop in, you go around the little centre bit, and then you sort of swoop out. It's almost like... 
I don't know how to, 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 to describe it. But there's so many different options for taking that round for taking this roundabout. Uh, also, if you if you feel like oh shit, I've gone the wrong way. Normally, you'd have to go all the way around the roundabout, but in this case, say County Road again, you just I don't think you just turn around the mini roundabout. But I was never mind. Normally, yeah, I was thinking, so, I was thinking something like okay, take the mini roundabout, go the inside, and do a U turn at the next mini roundabout and go back. But that's just that's still yeah. complicated. So in my hometown in the United States, there is an intersection that looks exactly like that, but delete all of the roundabout nonsense in it and put stoplights up at every single entrance to yeah, that intersection. That's, that's, that's the one, Josh, on the images, bottom right. Bottom right, this one here. The middle one, right in the middle of the bottom of your screen. This one? No, no, the other one. In the the, the image. Oh, that, that is. That one's the worst. The overhead image, the one that's in the middle of your screen. The, the one with the trees. And this no, one here. Down. No, go down. 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 Two rows. Th- down. One down. More. there. To the right. To the right. To the right. And then to one to the there right. There you yeah. go. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. World's I most pointless roundabout. <laughs> Over- I wonder I- how many tickets have been given out on these. Why is um, that on the overclockers? You for, I, I, I mean, if None you, for uh, speeding, I'll tell you that. <laughs> if you wanted to know uh, the, the Americans' opinions on the wor- world's most useless roundabout, it's every one of them because Americans hate roundabouts. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't really do them. Um, but before this turns into our Tuesday uh, three-hour... Dis- <laughs> before this turns into our three-hour discussion of some other random thing each week, um, I do believe we can maybe end out with the steward's stream here before it becomes a very lengthy podcast and we bore everyone out of their minds. No, it's a very good podcast. I think it's a very good podcast. Uh, we right. should do this. All right. I'd say we should do this every week, but we already do. But... All right, all right, viewers. It's up to we you. We just don't record it. Do you want us to continue on this absolute tangent or do we end it? I'll let I'll let chat decide. We've got a few people still watching, so Okay, we've got one yes already. Hey, if we're going to keep keep doing this, you need to change the Twitch so that it says we're just chatting and not playing a set of course. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. We weren't really playing a set of course in the first place. True. Well, one thing, one we're thing watching I, a set of course. One interesting thing I wanted to bring up is a guy that I, I met at that meet, the thing I went to over the weekend. He London first? <clears throat> yes. Uh, he, I what kind of meet was I, it? I, I talked to him and he knows Jimmy Brooks. Bro- Shush! He knows Jimmy Broadbent, and he races in Brick Car with him. So yeah, there was there was. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I talked with him. He, <laughs> he came there in, in a Nissan R34, and he has like shit tons of nice cars, and he drives a GTR in this in the league. So if you ever if you ever watching Brick Car, look out for a red, white, and black GTR. And apparently, all the marshals uh, he just puts on his suit thingy, uh, and all the marshals really like it. And he gets photos and stuff, so that's pretty neat. And he knows Jimmer quite well, so the the, the connections you find. All right, so um, in in pictures one through ten, which one is he? Pictures one. Oh my god, you got the Instagram post, haven't you? I do. <laughs> I'm looking um, at your the red one. You can, the red one. Okay. Are you gonna get the picture? <laughs> <laughs> the, re- the red I can't on, on my <laughs> phone, but yeah, I'm looking at it. The red and the white one, you're, one. The one where you're sitting on the stairs. Uh no, not the one on the stairs. That's a different one. It's the one that where it's just the one that looks happy. There's someone tagged. It's there's someone tagged. Yes, the the red and white one that looks happy. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> oh wow, he's taking pictures with his R34. Hmm. And McCle- he's he's literally in for leaning on a McLaren in a dealership. Oh what? Yeah, 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 go, yeah. Yeah, go look at his dang Instagram. I'm not gonna name drop him, but yeah, go look at his Instagram. It might, it might even be his. Actually, I'm not gonna get it up on stream. Uh, Instagram. But yeah, uh, that's a thing. Anyone else got any any interesting things to share? No. <laughs> just, just to me with my weird yeah. ass shit. Yeah. Uh, more interesting things. Predictions for the U.S. Grand Prix. Yeah, you were mentioning that. Um, Josh? There will be a race. There will be a race. That's a pretty bold prediction, I have to say. Um, yeah, given this year. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, weeks, yeah right? I'm realizing now, oh, no, what have I done? Over, under, 10 celebrity guest appearances on camera. Over. Under. Mm-hmm. Just. Just under. I, yeah, think it'll be over. I, think... I think it'll also be over. Mm, we'll see. Do you think we'll get the, the Nyao guy back again? 
Oh, yeah. I, I, I want his return. I want him... <laughs> In three years. Beautiful moment. Oh boy. Well, yeah, it'll be a race. There'll be some appearances from celebrities. It's, I mean, it's a, it's another Telkadrome, so it's basically Istanbul. Yeah, and I think it will fade for Mercedes, to be honest. How many non Telkadromes are there left in the season? There's not many, is there? They're going to be. Um, they're going to be. Well, like Abu, Dhabi, Abu Dhabi is a Telkadrome, but it's not at the same time. Um, How's it not? Uh, is his... It doesn't follow the same pattern because it's a street course. Uh, La Salle is not. It's not? It's not. It's I'm not. looking at the list here, it's not on it. It's just like in 2004, it's not a tilt track. Uh, what but about Saudi Arabia? Like one. I'm assuming Saudi really Arabia is not. Saudi Arabia is. Oh, Saudi is it really? Arabia? Yeah. Yeah, it's a new track. He, he's doing all the new tracks. Um, Brazil like not. is not. Yeah. Mexico is not. No, Mexico is. He redesigned is Mexico. It? Oh, he, did he redesign? Oh, okay. Um, yes, he did. So three, so four more tracks are definitely Tilkadromes, and there's six races left. Five. Uh, I want to say this. There's, there's, America, Mexico, uh, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Abu Dhabi. So there's six left, and four of them are Tilkadromes. Nice. I, f- I forgot how how few races we had. I, I keep getting the f- the feeling like we're midway through, but no, we're like in the latter stages. Yeah. Oh boy. I I want um, Q8 Motor Town instead of Lasalle, personally. Uh, I've heard it's a much one. better track. I want Formula One to quit being hypocritical and not race in human violation country. <laughs> Be realistic. Come on. Good luck. <laughs> I have an admin question. Oh, oh, oh dear. should I post uh, the trailer in announcements and should I ping people or not? Oh, <laughs> um, this yes, is this is the question. No to the ping. I want to say, yeah, with the tarts, I think I mean the reactions seem really positive on the stream. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't think a ping would be that unreasonable, considering. I mean, people would probably be pretty happy to know that there's a. Going to be a target, yes, but... especially that the trailer is a good form of prom- promotion, you know. Like, you see action and you are just pumped up, yep. Nudge, nudge, yeah. I, I, I'm asking because we already pinged people by everyone twice in one day, or three days ago. Okay, okay, <laughs> then no. I would just post the an announcements and then, like, I don't know if we have advertisements out there already, you know, like on Reddit, tell they... people to go up, tell people to go upvote our Reddit post so they get seen more. They will have. Oh, to... but but we didn't announce the AF4 uh, as AF4, so I can do that. Yeah, I I can do everyone because uh, the ping was for AF3, but for AF4 there was no ping. And I'll put the Reddit post up right now. Yeah, so I I just gonna go with everyone. Then if somebody will be unhappy, this is my fault. Kick me out. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. No, he did. Get bye. Let me in. Let me. In. this is how half of our admin meetings go if you don't like to kick me out disconnect and we still when we're still productive the Juan will be like hello admin (laughs) no what are you doing here, Jens? I was about to say, should we end it there? But I feel rude saying that now that Jens has arrived. <laughs> are, are we not doing stewards anymore? Oh, we had like five. There, there were five total. We're done. <laughs> oh, lol. Yeah. Yeah. We just have we done, I think we were done an hour ago. We well, the be... three new people who have never met each other before and just started cruising together in, in cruising. That's cool. No, oh. it's all new. Well, maybe maybe they all came in a in a pack. Mm, I mean, that, I, what in looking to drive? I think it was looking to drive. Doesn't suggest that. Mm. I'm driving with my CSL DD. Oh, how is it? Um, Shit. I I had some problems with like the centering, but I sorted that out. And it's like I I still have to fine tune it, but it's it's good. I might go for the eight mm still because it's like quite um soft for me. So it's still so how many how many new to meters is your is this one? Is it five? Five. Yeah. So you so you're saying that's not enough? 
Yeah, like I am. Um, uh, I said like the force feedback in AC to two hundred percent, but like then it just reaches five nanometers uh, earlier. Uh, but mid corner, I just it's just always five nanometers, and then it's just not enough for me. Uh, I see. I've, I mean, I've been used to a G29 with, like, I think 1.7, so I think, like, anything would be an upgrade. I'm considering a new one, potentially, because my downshift doesn't really work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but that's neat. You know what the worst part of the G29 is? Mm-hmm. The rotary encoder. Yes. It, absolutely, it just doesn't work. You rotate it. And that's some, one. sometimes it does nothing. Sometimes it goes twice. <laughs> it no, never no. goes by one. When when you just toggle it, it's only the toggle that makes you go like one plus. You have to stop and then toggle again, then stop and then turn and then stop and then turn. It's awful. Yeah, like if I if I just click it one time over, it goes twice for me because I had it set to and because I tried using that for my engine modes in. The Formula E car season of AF1, and it would it just wouldn't let me do it. If I tried going up to hot lap or whatever, it would just bounce to the the safety car one. It was awful. Oof. Well, I think that's uh, we've said for Formula E, and that is our safe word. So I think we'll have to end it there. Yep. Well, uh, thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> thank you for sticking around for an AF podcast. I think we should I think we should do some more of these if the Stuart streams are very sure and you guys are all just so loving and this friendly is fun. and happy. Uh, well, we're all going to have Monday off next week because AF2 is not going to have any reports. And wink, then, wink, uh, wink. Don't report anything. Thank you. Yes. Oh, in, ca in case you all didn't know, total sarcasm here. Um, there's now a 25 euro fee for reporting incidents in AF2 and that's per report. Buy four, get the fifth one free. So uh, yeah, re report <laughs> Yeah. Please note that is 25 euros times 10 to the power 23. All the money goes for Josh's mental health. Someone learned yes. standing form today. <laughs> yes, physics. Oh my goodness. Well, on, on that mon monetary bombshell, I do believe we shall end. Thank you, uh, everyone, for tuning in to an interesting steward stream, and we'll see you again on Saturday. It's all about money. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. We race for money. We, we race for money. Goodbye.